everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be looking at the latest update to consulpedia 3d for the ps vita and this is a really cool homebrew application that basically shows past consoles in 3d form and you can also learn about their history their top selling games specs and just all sorts of fun stuff so they reached out to me uh vita hex games who are the developers of this really cool app and if you haven't checked out my first video where i covered it for the very first time i do have that video available in this corner here and also in the description down below so if you want to go take a look at that go ahead and watch it so they reached out to me on that video and they're like hey there's a new update and i check a vita db and there's no update it's still version 0. Point, uh, i think it's 0. 0.01 and i went to the patreon and it looks like they have the update there so we're going to take a look at how we can update our consulpedia 3d app and we're gonna take a look at all the different features and see if there's any new consoles. I'm very excited to see what they got for us. So let's go on our PC. All right, everyone. So here we are on our desktop and we have the beautiful interface. I've always been a big fan of doing these nice recordings with the templates. Let me know in the comment section what you think of all of this that I try to do for you guys to try to make it nice and pretty uh for these videos anyways we're going to be taking a look at uh, consulpedia 3d and seeing if there's an update if we go into the actual application and i'm going to take a sip of this nice coffee check out that pretty cool mug it's one of my favorite mugs and it's my biggest mug that i got pokemon pokemon all the ev evolutions ever and my favorite being the fairy type there. All right, moving on, guys. Sorry about that. And let's start up the application. Just having some fun. Vita Hex Games, you guys are doing an amazing job. Thank you for commenting on my video. It means a lot that you watched my video or at least stopped by. That's pretty cool. All right, Consulpedia. So I believe... Look how beautiful this looks. This is just crazy, crazy how well it looks. Let's go to extras. There won't be an update, so I'm sure we have to go to their Patreon page, which I was talking about earlier. And I don't see no updating going on there so why don't we go to our desktop and take a look at let's see here okay so i think i found it here it is this is their patreon page so if you'd like to become a member there you go you can pay it one dollar five dollars or ten dollars very cool. So down here we have version 0 0.2 now available. Oh snap. All right, I'm not even going to look at that. Can we just download? Let me just download it. I don't really want to see. I want to look for myself. I'm so excited. So here is the download link. If you didn't see that, there's download. You can download the VPK from the Google Drive link below okay let's hit that download link download anyway and there is our vpk perfect so now i'll connect my ps vita to the ftp client so i don't lose connection on the usb side back on the vita let's go to vita shell now let's press select and our FTP server is now running perfect. Let's go back on our desktop and quick connect. Beautiful. Here we go. Throw that into my UXO folder. And this is an 83.7 megabyte download. Okay, finished transfer. Let's go back on the beta. 
there it is 0 0.2 I'll move this into my VPK folder here what is it paste there it is there it is how beautiful is that let's install the package <sighs> nothing like a nice cup of coffee more like a cup of water and sugar because <laughs> I put a lot of sugar in my coffee it has to taste good big shout out to our latest subscriber carmote underscore o fee thank you for subscribing and we have surpassed 17,400 subscribers so exciting and we got a super chat from you underscore like fish sticks five dollars thank you thank you thank you so much it's finished let's go back home and run consulpedia do we see a version we don't see version at all but there's their patreon website there very good network features might be disabled during the use of this application consulpedia 3d is loading version 0 0.2 nice alrighty okay so uh, version 1 had 7 consoles. We now have 12, so a total of 5 new consoles. Oh, this is so exciting. So the first one we see is the Atari 2600, released back in 1977. The price was $200, units sold 30 million. Wow. And I like how they add the media, the CPU and memory, and, and just, it's it's funny how some of these old consoles just, t just take these really, now in our times, mediocre, just like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. But it worked out. And their history. Nice. So full screen. Kind of hard to see the black right there. That is so awesome, man. Uh, I love this. Look at all the details. That is as good as it's going to get. Wow, look at how the the, the light just kind of reflects off of that. That is sick. Wow, and then the old sticker on the bottom. <laughs> These guys are geniuses. Look at that. <laughs> That's great, man. Very good. Back home, we have... Let's see, top five. We have Pac-Man. Whoops, Pac-Man. Pitfall, Asteroids, I'm going to have to look here because I can't see that far. Asteroids, Atari Missile Command, and Space Invader. Wow, that is incredible. Moving on to the NES, we already looked at that one. We have Sega Genesis. Oh, we have the original Game Boy. Release date 1989. This is the fat model first generation or fourth generation from nintendo it looks like but the first generation game boy intro price 89.99 and 118 million sold holy guacamole and their top sales was tetris pokemon red gold super mario what's that land and yellow version so these were the wait why is the Game Boy why is the Pokemon Gold there? Because that's a Game Boy Color. Does it work for the original? I I don't know. I've always played the Game Boy Color and up. Oh, never really had a chance to play the original uh, gray and or the white and black version. But anyways, let's move on. Super Nintendo, my favorite, and the PlayStation. Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color. So we have the same top five for Game Boy Color. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe they could do something where it's just the Game Boy Color uh, games. Like the top Game Boy Color only top five games. And then the Game Boy, you'd have this list instead and just remove that gold. But nonetheless, very good. Oh, we got the Game Boy Advance. Yes, look at that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to look at this model close up. Sorry, guys. I gotta, I gotta do it. 
Dang, it even has like original like scratches and stuff you would have when when using it. I like that. I like that. It's, it gives it a more realistic feel, and it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Back to the Game Boy Advance, released in two thousand one, sixth generation. Price was a hundred dollars. Wow. When I'm thinking about these prices, I'm thinking about when I was a little boy, and why. My parents didn't buy me this it's too expensive like we didn't grow up having you know the latest and greatest we had a lot of used uh, stuff so getting a game boy advance at the time was crazy sixth generation 81.51 million let's do the full screen and yep that's the original color that like purple look at the detail when it hits that light Wow. That is so cool. Look at that. Everything's there. Everything is there. Just as I remembered it. But we skipped this one. We skipped it because it was getting too expensive. And because you needed like this light thing. And you got all these different accessories. When the Game Boy Advance came out, they had so many accessories from what I remember growing up here are the top five games for the game boy advance we have pokemon ruby version absolutely my all-time favorite pokemon game ever ruby version i remember i had all the legendaries it was so exciting so refreshing all the new pokemon were just amazing looking and it was just crazy 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 when that released next up we have leaf green version emerald version mario kart super circuit and super mario 3 and Ruby sold 16 million units. Wow. Moving on to the next console, and that is the Nintendo DS. Released in 2004. Price was 150 bucks. Wow. 154 million sold. And let's take a look at it here real quick. I was never really a big fan of this. I thought it looked kind of weird. It was cool, like revolutionary. It's like, oh, this is kind of cool. But... When the PSP came out, I just had no interest in the DS or the Nintendo. I thought it was kind of lame. Like it looked, it looked like outdated compared to the PSP. The PSP just looks so crazy, and I didn't give two craps about the Nintendo DS. Unfortunately, I never got my hands on one, especially the older version. I, I never liked the older version. It was too bulky, and the screens were not. I don't know something about it I didn't like. But there it is. All the scratches and everything. That's so cool. I wonder if they actually take pictures and render those pictures to like a 3D model or something like that, right? Interested to see how they do it. And here's their top five. We have Super Mario, the new Super Mario Bros. And what is that? 19 dogs? 19 dogs? I don't know. But I remember my brother had a dogs game. I think it was just called dogs or cats or something like that. It was a lot of fun because you could like pet your dog, play with it, and actually have a virtual little creature that you would take care of. Mario Kart DS, Brain Age, and Pokemon Diamond. So Pokemon game made it to the top five. They always make it to top five. All right, so let's go and final console. Oh, the PSP. Thank you. Thank you, Vita Hex Games. They did the PSP. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. What? Sony Corporation, generation six generation, introductory price, 250 bucks. Thank you, Luis Martinez, for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you and 80 to 82 million all right let me see when so released in 2004 nintendo ds was released in 2004 and they sold 154 million so they sold a lot more than the psp and that's probably because of that price point of 250 bucks that is crazy expensive wow no wonder i couldn't get one when i was uh growing up that was just way too much so let's take a look at it. Oh my. And this is the fat version. Oh, we're kind of missing a little bit of detail on the back. It looks a little too flat. But okay. 
Nice. Yep. That looks so cool. Oh, we're missing a couple buttons at the top there. Vita Hex Games, you're missing something up there. You're missing a few things. You're missing a few things there. Hopefully on your next update you'll get that uh, you'll get a squared away on that. Yep, we got the now with the PSP fat version, I already noticed something weird. The speakers are not where they should be. They should be at the bottom here. The little holes for the speakers are at the bottom. I remember because I always take these apart and the speakers are like the first ones I take out at the bottom of the console. So that should be updated. And uh, dang, it's unfortunate. The, the PSP had to be the one with the few mistakes here and there, but it's okay. Hopefully uh, you'll rev re revise this uh, 3D model. And you're also missing, uh, you're missing the, uh, the memory card holder on the back here on this corner and you'll see very hard to show but yeah it opens up like that there's a little door it's not on the side like the PSP 2000 but I'd like to see the PSP 1000 2000 3000 I'd like to see the Pokemon uh, Pokemon the Game Boy Pocket uh, the Game Boy Micro so on and so forth the different generations of each oh and you know what would be really cool too if they did something where you could see uh pictures or another well the 3d model would take too much but maybe pictures of different variations of that console so they can you can see like the colors that they released for the 1000 and then 2000 and then the different packages i would love to see pictures of like original uh, stands original uh, announcements and just like the first time they ever shown it or something like that I think it'd be really cool Alejandro Bautista for another subscription thank you so much for that that is amazing thank you thank you thank you but yeah I'm a little bit disappointed on how the PSP console turned out but I'm so happy that you have it on here that is exciting hopefully you guys will change that for me not for me, but for the community. Let's take a look at the top five games. And we have Grand Theft Auto Liberty Stories. And then we have Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. And the next one is Monster Hunter 3. Gran Turismo and Monster Hunter... I don't know. So that is it for this one. So exciting. I'm glad that they are continuing to update us with just more consoles if you guys have any recommendations or you find any bugs or possible fixes that they can do please leave those comments down below they will be uh, looking at this video hopefully and all of your feedback so that's it for this one guys take care and i'll see you on the next one hey everyone thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you enjoy my content please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you.